Hello, this is Pranay Sai. I'll explain you an important topic in mental ability, the number ranking time sequence test. Firstly, let's solve questions related to number test. In this topic, you'll be given few numbers as well as few conditions. You need to trace out the numerals based on the given conditions. You'll have a clear picture when we start solving the questions. Here is the first one. How many fours are there preceded by seven but not followed by three? Here is the sequence of numerals. We have one, two, three, four, five fours in the given sequence. He's asking us to find out the number of fours which are preceded by seven but not followed by three. Let's take the first four. Here it is preceded by seven but not followed by three. So this is the right answer. Now let's look at the second numeral four in the given sequence. Even second one is preceded by seven and not followed by three. So both first four and second four satisfy the given conditions. What about the third one? It is preceded by 7 and not followed by 3. So even this one satisfies the given condition. And let's look for the fourth one. It is preceded by 7 but followed by 3. But in the given question, it should not be followed by 3, isn't it? So this 4 is wrong. And what about the last one? It is preceded by 7 and not followed by 3. So even this 4 is correct. So the number of 4s which are preceded by 7 but not followed by 3 are 4. Hope you had understood this. Another question. How many such pairs of digits are there in the number 9513724848 each of which has as many digits between them in the number as when they are arranged in ascending order? Here is the given sequence 9513724848. Let's arrange this in ascending order. We'll be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Isn't it? Now let's get into the question. How many such pairs of digits are there in a number, each of which has as many digits between them? in the number as when they are arranged in ascending order. If you can observe clearly, the number of digits between 5 and 3 is 1. And here between 3 and 5 is also 1. So we have one pair satisfying the given condition. Let's check if there are any. The number of digits in between 7 and 4 is also 1. And here between 4 and 7 is also 1. So we have two pairs satisfying the given conditions now. Any other pairs left? Let's find out. The number of digits between 3 and 8 is 3 here. And similarly, the number of digits between 3 and 8 is also 3 in the sequence. And the number of pairs between 3 and 8 in the given sequence when arranged in ascending order is also 3. So we have three pairs satisfying the given condition. So totally we have three pairs satisfying the given condition. Here is another question. The digits of each of the following five numbers are written in reverse order and five new numbers are obtained. He is asking us to reverse each of these numbers. What to do after that? Which of the following will be the middle digit of the third number from the top when the new numbers are arranged in descending order? Firstly, firstly is asking us to arrange each of these numbers in reverse order and then arrange the reverse order in descending order. Let's follow a step by step sequence. Here are the given numbers 513, 726, 492. 865149. So arranging them in reverse order, we get 315, 627, 
2945689941 have just reversed the digits of each number got it now let's arrange this reverse order into descending order we get 941 627 568 315 and last 294 now get into the question is asking us the middle digit of the third number from the top the third number from the top is 568 and the middle digit of 568 is 6 therefore the answer is 6 here is another sequence what will be the middle digit of the second lowest number after the positions of only the first and second digits within each number are interchanged. The first two digits of each number should be interchanged in this case. So the numbers become as follows 157, 235, 369, 481, 972. So the first two digits of each number is interchanged. Now let's get into the question. What will be the middle digit of the second lowest number? In order to get the second lowest number, we need to check whether these numbers are in ascending order. Of course, they are in ascending order. So the second lowest number is 235. And the middle digit is 3. So the answer is 3. So in number test, you will be given certain numerals where you have to interchange its positions or you have to arrange them in ascending or descending order or you will be given certain conditions based on which you need to solve the questions accordingly. Now let's get into the ranking test. Here is the first question. In a row of boys, A is 13th from the left, B is 17th from the right. If in this row A is 11th from the right, then what is the position of D from left? It is given in the question that A is 13th from the left. So there are 12 members before A. And it is also given that A is 11th from the right. So there are 10 members to the right of A. It is also given that D is 17th from the right. So there are 16 members to the right of D. It is asking us to find out the position of D from left. We know A's position from the left and A's position from the right. We know D's position from the right. We need to find out D's position from the left. From A's position, we can find out the number of boys in the row, isn't it? The number of boys are 12 plus 1 plus 10. Total 23 boys. 12 members before A, then comes A and 10 members after A. These are the total number of boys in the row. We know that D is 17th from the right. Therefore, number of boys to the left of D is 23 minus 17 which is equal to 6. So there are 6 members before D or there are 6 members to the left of D. So the position of D from the left is 7th position as there are 6 members before D. So the answer is 7th position. N ranks 5th in the class. S is 8th from the last. If T is 6th after N and just in the middle of N and S, then how many students are there in the class? This question sounds confusing, but the solution is pretty simple. He said that N ranks 5th in the class. It means that there are 4 people before N. And N is the 5th one. And he said that S is 8th from the last. So there are 7 members after S. And S is the 8th one. T is 6th after N. So between N and T, there are 5 members. As T is 6th after N. And he said that T is 
just in the middle of n and s. So the number of people between t and s is also 5 as t is exactly in between n and s. Now then what is the question? How many students are there in the class? Let's find out 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 7. There are 4 people before n, then comes n, there are 5 people after n, then comes t, there are 5 people after t, then comes s and there are 7 people after s. So the total number of students in the class are 24. This is the answer. Time sequence test. Here is a question. Ashish leaves his house at 20 minutes to 7 in the morning. Reaches Kunal's house in 25 minutes. They finish their breakfast in other 15 minutes and leave for their office which takes another 35 minutes. At what time do they leave Kunal's house to reach their office? Let's solve this question in a sequence. Ashish leaves his house at 20 minutes to 7. So Ashish left his house at 6.40 am as it is in the morning. He reaches Kunal's house in 25 minutes. 25 minutes from 6.40 is 7.05 am isn't it? They finish their breakfast in other 15 minutes. So 15 minutes from here is 7.20 am and leave for the office which takes another 35 minutes. So the time they will be at the office is 7.55 am as it takes 35 minutes to reach the office. Now let's look into the question. At what time do they leave Kunal's house to reach their office? He is not asking us the time they reached the office. He is asking us the time when they started from Kunal's house. So the answer is 7.20 am. Hope you have understood this. Another question. Saturday was a holiday for Republic Day. 14th of the next month is again a holiday for Shivaratri. What day was it on 14th? As we all know, Republic Day is on 26th January. And he's saying that 26th January is a Saturday. So one week from 26th is 2nd, which is also a Saturday. And one week from 2nd is 9th, which is also a Saturday. And one week from 9th is 16th, which is also a Saturday. If 16th is Saturday, what day will it be on 14th? So 14th is Thursday. So the answer is Thursday. Therefore, 14th February is Thursday according to the question. 